Hey guys, welcome back to a quick video on how to set up your brand new Samsung Galaxy S10. So I'm sure you've just got it and you want to know how to set it up. This is a good video. So you're going to hit start and then you're going to have to hit the end user agreement. You don't have to hit any of the others. You can go straight ahead and hit next. Then once we've done that, you will have the option to transfer your data from your old device, whether that's iOS, Android, you can use wireless cable or skip. So we're just going to go ahead and skip as if we're setting up a new device. Then you have the option to set up a Wi-Fi connection. So we're going to do that off screen. OK, so once it had connected to the Internet, it gives you the option to sign into your Google account, which you would do if you want to get all your uh, contacts info down from Google, use their services. So as you can see, it's popped up here. But we're going to go ahead and hit skip for now. Then. It's asking you if you want to allow all these permissions, so location, uh, sending diagnostics, but I'm going to go ahead and switch off the sending diagnostics and then hit accept. Then it's going to go ahead and ask you if you want to protect your phone, so you can use uh, any one of these uh, secure ways to get into your phone, so facial recognition, uses the camera at the front there, fingerprint under the screen, and then pattern, pin, or password, or you can do nothing at all. So we're going to go ahead and set up a fingerprint and you will have to use a pattern pin or password so I'm going to go ahead and just enter in a simple pin uh, for once but obviously use something more secure if you're doing it yourself so we'll put that in and then once that's done it's going to ask you to scan your finger and you can see there the fingerprint scanner is in the front of the display so using the new uh, ultrasonic fingerprint scanner we're going to go ahead and rest our finger on there you do have to press quite hard but not um, forcefully and you just keep scanning it. Just turn it, rotate your thumb uh, or any other finger you're using. And you can go ahead, scan it. And once you get to 80%, it's going to ask you to get a full scan. So you just need to get the edges of your finger. So I'm going to go ahead, get the top and the right side there. And then once we have that, it is all done. You can go ahead and add another fingerprint if you want, or you can do that later on. So once that's done, we are just adding the finishing touches and then it's going to give you the option to get some recommended apps but as you can see just skip through that then you have the option to sign into your Samsung account so this will use things like S Health, um, Calendar, things like that but you can go ahead and skip you can sign in later if you want and it shows you what you're missing out on so Samsung Pay, Samsung Cloud, Bixby, things like that but we'll go ahead and skip that again and it's all done. You can use your Samsung Galaxy S10. So if you guys have any questions, do post a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching. If you found this video useful, do please give it a like down below. Really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, do hit the subscribe button over there on the right and watch the unboxing as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.